Hey guys, it's Kat. Thank you so much for watching. So today's video is going to be a special video. It's going to be the best in beauty for 2013. I have rounded up all the products that I feel really stood out for me this year and that I have enjoyed using all year and I'm going to share that with you guys today. So I'm going to go ahead and get started so that this video isn't like 30 minutes long. So I'm going to go in the order that you would apply these products on your face. So the first one would be primer and as you've probably been able to tell in my videos, I don't really use primer all that often. I'm not huge into primer. I just Sometimes I just don't think it's really necessary, not for my skin at least. Um, but when I do use a primer, if I do want my makeup to stay all day, I will use a primer. And the one that I have been enjoying is Hourglass. Hourglass is Mineral Veil. I've used this before. I had a bigger size of this and I went through it completely. And it was featured in one of my product MDs. So I have used this you know for a while and I really do like it it just feels like silk on your skin it's so like luxurious feeling and I really like it so definitely our glasses mineral the next category is foundation and for that I have two I had to pick two just because I use them for very different reasons for an everyday kind of wear natural looking foundation I will definitely use my Urban Decay Naked Skin I discovered this foundation this year and I absolutely love it I think it's the most natural looking foundation that you can get. It's good coverage, but it doesn't leave your skin feeling heavy. Um, and it, it does cover up, but it's not that heavy. The coverage isn't that intense. You know what I'm saying? Like it just doesn't feel like you're wearing foundation. I really like it. I love that it is buildable if I need it to be. And it's just a very versatile foundation in my opinion. So I love the Urban Decay. But at the same time, I really do also like the Kat Von D Lock It, Lock it Tattoo Foundation. That's the foundation that I'm wearing today. It is a full coverage foundation, but at the same time, it lasts a really, really long time, and it's transfer resistant, so if you brush up against somebody, it's not going to take your foundation with you. It's matte, and it's just a really good foundation for, you know, a special event, for parties, you know, it's just... The foundation will not budge on your skin, so that's what I really like about it. And I have recommended this foundation a lot for people that really like full coverage foundations or that they need the foundation to last all day. So I highly recommend this foundation as well. And the color that I am in in this foundation is M54, and in the Urban Decay, it's 4.0. Next category would be concealer. Now, I have stopped using this concealer for a little bit now just because I felt like it was breaking out. But I have started using it again, and that would be Max long wear concealer for everyday kind of wear I would not use this concealer for everyday wear I would use the Maybelline Maybelline instant age rewind I don't have it now I haven't purchased it yet but I've used it so many times that I need to go get another bottle but that is my everyday concealer like it's amazing <laughs> but for more of a coverage for something like today I'm wearing this concealer right now it's definitely Mac pro long wear it's just there's nothing like this concealer I've never tried a concealer like this either it's just the most perfect concealer ever. <laughs> it really does not crease. It's the, the coverage is incredible and it's just my favorite, favorite under eye concealer. And I hope, hope that it's not breaking me out. I'm using it again. Um, we'll see. But I really do like that. Next would be powder. And if you've watched my videos for quite some time now, you'll know what I'm going to say. And it is the NARS... Um, light reflecting setting powder. This powder is just, I'm telling you, it's amazing. You have to try it. I'm not going to say too, too much about it just because I'm going to talk your ears off about it, but it's just really light on your skin. It sets your foundation impeccably. It just leaves your skin feeling and looking just radiant. It's, um, it mattifies your skin, but it doesn't leave it looking so flat. So the light reflecting properties in it just make your skin look lit from within. It's just a really, really beautiful powder and I highly, highly recommend that. Next would be bronzer. And of course, if you watch my videos, you know what I'm going to say. And that is Hoola Bronzer by Benefit. I have definitely hit some major pen here. I love this bronzer. It not only is a good bronzer, but it does a good job at contouring. I'm also wearing this today. And I just really, really like it. I think it's a really great, you know, powder, a bronzer. Really? blends in really nicely with your skin so I love it next would be blush now this was really hard for me uh, I had to pick two and they're both from Mac now the one that I've used even before I started YouTube and I've used and I just absolutely loved it was um, peaches peaches by Mac and that's what it is it's you know self-explanatory it is a peachy color 
but it's just so smooth. There's no shimmer in it whatsoever, and it just gives your cheeks a really peachy, flushed look. Love it. But when I was picking that blush out, I saw Melba next to it, and I was like, oh, I love you too. So I'm going to say Melba too. It's just... This is such a versatile blush. It goes with anything, any kind of look, any kind of eyes, any kind of lips. It's a little bit more pinkier, pink, more pink in color than peaches, obviously. But it's, again, it's a matte blush and it's just so smooth and, oh, I just love, love those two blushes. This is going to be highlighter. Um, and again, I don't, not really huge on highlighter. I don't know why. I think it's because I do break out in the areas where you would normally put highlighter. So if I add highlighter on top, sometimes it does accentuate those areas. But if I'm going to use a highlighter, I will definitely reach for the Laura Mercier Peach Mosaic Powder. Oh my god, it's so pretty. It is just gorgeous. It's the most beautiful... Oh, sheen ever. I love it. This is the blush, but that's the highlighter. It's what I'm wearing today. I really, really just, you need to swatch this. It's really pretty. I love that highlighter. Now for brows. Okay, so I have changed my brow products um, recently, but for the most part of the year, I really just only used this, and this is the Anastasia Brow Powder in Brunette. They have changed the packaging now, but um, it is a great, awesome fantastic brow powder. I used it and I loved it and I still love it. Um, I just recently started using the pencil from the same brand but this was definitely a really good brow powder and I highly recommend it. Next category would be eyeshadow palette. Now that is like asking me to you know pick an arm which one I like most <laughs> but really I love 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 eyeshadow palettes. You guys know that and I really had to pick three palettes that have just blown my socks off. I absolutely love these palettes and if I were to be without them, I would definitely go out and purchase them again. Okay, so the first one you guys know is the Urban Decay Vice 2. I absolutely have used this little palette like crazy. I just think the colors in here are so beautiful and I just, I love it. I'm not gonna say too much about it. You know that I love it. Next would be Too Faced Pretty Rebel palette. The packaging of this is just gorgeous. The presentation is, you know, unlike any other. And I just love all these colors. All these colors. There's not one dud in this palette. And I just think it's an amazing, amazing palette. I love this palette so much. And the last palette that really is my pick for, like, everyday wear, something that I would t definitely just, if I could live with this one palette, I would be totally fine. And that is the Lorac Unzipped. It is... A gorgeous palette it's all neutrals um, it definitely leans more gold so I love gold tones on my skin I think that it suits my skin tone a lot better than um, pinks or uh, silvers would uh, so if you do like those gold tones I would definitely recommend this palette it is just really really pretty gorgeous 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 love 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 okay so those are my favorite eyeshadow palettes for the year next is going to be eyeliner and that for me is Urban Decay's perversion I just I have sharpened it down to this little bitty self right here, but it's just such a creamy, you know, pencil. It just, it's amazing. It lasts all day, and I really, really love that pencil. Next would be mascara, and I had to pick this mascara just because it's the one that I repurchased the most and that I will continue to repurchase just because every time I use it, I'm just like, why am I using any other mascaras? This mascara is... It gives me everything that I want a mascara to do. It separates my lashes. It gives me volume. It doesn't clump up, which is huge for me. Um, if I want to keep building, it will not clump up on me. Clump up on me. So I love that. And that is Clinique's High Impact Mascara. The wand is a real bristle wand, which is my favorite. I always uh, bend my wands like that. I don't know why, but I just feel like. It gives me better control and it's just a really really amazing mascara I don't hear too much about it I mean at least not in the videos or the, the people that I follow I never hear too much about it but I just think it's a really amazing mascara high-end mascara but it is it, it still is amazing uh, lip pencil and that would be for me Milani's um, color statement lip liner in 03 03 nude it's just the perfect lip pencil pencil for me like the color is just dead on for my skin tone and my lip color I can put this underneath anything if I want or I can just use it alone and add a little bit of lip gloss and it's just perfect love that 
Okay, next category is lipstick. Again, I cheated just because, I mean, come on, I can't just pick just one, it's just not possible. But the one that I'm going to say, without a doubt, that I will reach for, if I have no idea what to wear on my lips, I will reach for this, and that is Max Cream Cup. I just, I love that lipstick. And I'm always losing it because I use it so often that I really need to get another one just to keep one in my purse and then one in my vanity. I'm always losing it. So that's how I know that I love it. If I can never find it and I go crazy looking for it, it's because I love it. So Max Queen Cup. And for a pop of color, I just think this color is so beautiful. And my best friend saw it on me and she absolutely loved it. And she got one too. And that is Urban Decay's Anarchy. Guys, this color is just so beautiful. I love, 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 love it. It's a really beautiful fuchsia pink it's blue based but i don't know it's just gorgeous and the lipstick formula of this well, lipstick form and the formula of these lipsticks are just unparalleled they're creamy they're long lasting they're pigmented absolutely love love that lipstick okay. oh almost done last question is lip gloss and this for me is a no-brainer that's revlon's bellini revlon color burst bellini i just use this lip, lip gloss so much this year and i really paired it over everything and everything. It's the lip gloss that I'm wearing now and I just really love it. Where is it? <laughs> oh, it's right there. So I just think it's the perfect topper to any lipstick. If you wanna just add like something in the center of your lips, this is what I'll reach for. So, yep, that is that. All right, is that everything? I think that is everything. Oh my God, so this video is not that long, I hope. But anyways, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I hope that you, um, you know, got a feel for what I really like and what I have been using this year. I hope that you guys are having a wonderful holiday season and no matter what you celebrate, I hope that you guys have a great Christmas and a happy holiday. I will see you guys in my next video. I don't know if this is going to be my last video for the year. I'm going to try to put up another one, but in case that I don't, I just wanted to wish you guys a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year and I will see you soon. Bye!